Next year's Sony Hisense and TCL TVs should have four HDMI 2.1 ports thanks to this new chipset from MediaTek called Pentonic 800. I'm at Computex in Taiwan and I'm at MediaTek's private booth where the company has unveiled their latest SoC, the Pentonic 800. Now, it is not clear from the specifications on the English website at the moment, but from speaking to key personnel at the event, I have confirmed that the Pentonic 800 will have four HDMI 2.1 ports capable of 48 gigabits per second FRL bandwidth. And many TV companies on the market are currently using MediaTek chipsets. We already know that Hisense, TCL, Panasonic, Philips and Sony are customers of MediaTek who have been using their SoC on their smart TVs and previously they were using the Pentonic 700 and Pentonic 1000 with two full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 ports but the Pentonic 800 is going to be the first 4K SoC from MediaTek that will support four full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 ports so for those of you who are into gaming and have multiple HDMI 2.1 source devices such as the Sony PS5, the Xbox Series X and a high-end PC and you want to use eARC as well then next year's 2025 TVs from these TV brands will hopefully support four HDMI 2.1 ports other advantages of the Pentonic 800 over the previous Pentonic 700 and 1000 include a refresh rate that can go up to 4K 165Hz in VRR whereas previously it was capped at 144Hz so this will be music to the ears for some of you high-end PC gamers out there who have a powerful enough rig to take advantage of this also there is a new AI contrast feature to upscale SDR content to near HDR quality by analyzing the zones on a pixel hardware level rather than through the backlight so it will work on both LCD and OLED and another advantage of AI contrast also applies to HDR content because some HDR content are actually mastered or graded to a very low luminance level and if you actually tone map statically based on the panel limitation some low luminous panels will actually cap the brightness and suppress the dark detail even further causing you to miss out on some shadow detail now this AI contrast feature on the Pentonic 800 will be able to use AI to bring out the shadow detail so that you can have a better viewing experience for example when you're watching Game of Thrones or House of the Dragons some really dark scenes on a low luminance TV you can actually perceive the detail better and another improvement of the Pentonic 800 over the previous generations of Pentonic chipsets is the AI SR super resolution feature including for gaming and this is hardware based which means that you know it is not going to add latency and MediaTek has found out that the trend among consumers is going towards streaming and as the bandwidth goes down the bit rate will be limited there will be more compression artifacts and this new SOC can clean up these compression artifacts can do noise reduction and sharpen the picture to try and produce a better view experience for end users but I really want to applaud MediaTek for finally bringing for HDMI 2.1 ports and allowing more flexibility and connectivity options for the end users and I genuinely hope that more and more TV manufacturers for example, Sony, Panasonic, Philips, TCL and Hisense will be able to implement the Pentonic 800 on their 2025 TVs. If you want to find out some picture quality findings that I've done on previous TVs that have been using MediaTek Pentonic chipsets, please watch my review video by clicking here.